Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia and I just had a birthday recently. It's been like a week now. My birthday was on October 21st, but I did pick up quite a few items and I wanted to run through those with you guys. I love watching these videos. I love seeing what people are actually picking up, like what they're eyeing, what they're into. So this is not like a bragging thing at all. These are just some things I picked up on my birthday. All right guys, we have got a lot of stuff to go through. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Now I kind of threw everything in this Ulta bag, but I did pick up items from a few different places. So I will get into that as we go through it. Now, most everything did come from Ulta, but I did pick up a few items from Sephora and a few items from Pat McGrath online. So I'm going to run through those quick. So first off from Sephora, I got this little Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Kit. This, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but you get a full size of the Rare Beauty blush and then you get two little minis as well. With these, they are super pigmented. They're super blendable, but literally all you need is one dot. So even these little minis will last you quite a long time. Now I do already have some of these in my collection, but I do really like the formula. So I wanted to pick up this kit because I thought it was a good value. All right, so this is the full size that you're getting and this is in the shade Encourage. And then there are two little minis. So this is called Happy, and then this one is called Truth. And the ones that I had were Bliss, and this one is Joy. I wanna hold up these two, okay. I thought these two might be similar, but definitely um, Bliss is more of a peachy color, whereas the one that come in this kit is a lot more of a mauve shade. Also guys, anything you see that you want me to do a video with, please let me know. Um, I'm going to try to do a video with everything, but you know, if I see comments for something, then I'll kind of push that up to the front. All right, next up is this kit from Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Literally like everything I have tried from her, I have absolutely loved. This is two of her light wands and it comes in Spotlight, which is a highlighter type of a shade, and then Pink Gasm, which of course, as you know, it blew up on TikTok as a blush. So Pink Gasm has been sold out for like ever. All right, next up from Pat McGrath, I got two items from her holiday collection. I don't know why brands are not releasing their whole holiday collection at once. Like a lot of them I am realizing this year are launching like a little bit and then more after the fact at later dates. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I picked up her highlighter. I love Pat McGrath's highlighter formula. This is in Venusian Nude. Ven I don't know how you say that. Venusian, Venusian Nude. This is the packaging, feels super weighted and luxe. And then on the inside, it is absolutely beautiful. I love highlighters like this that are kind of like your skin tone type of a highlighter. I think it just blends into the skin so beautifully. So I thought this would look really, really nice. And then I got a Divine Blush and this one is in Nude Venus 2. And this is that packaging. Again, super weighted, feels really nice. You've got a little button that you click in here and then this opens up. You do have a mirror and then it has got like the typical type of embossment with the roses, um, but super beautiful nonetheless. This one does have stars. I don't remember the other ones having stars like that on there. I remember those just being like roses. So next up, let's get into the Ulta bag. Ulta just kind of tends to be my favorite, like across the board. I love Ulta so much, especially shopping online on the app. They always have like free gifts and things like that. Now for my birthday, I did go in and pick up these items. So while we were talking about Charlotte Tilbury, 
I want to move into Essence, two completely different spectrums in terms of the price point, but I thought these Essence blushes were very, very reminiscent of Charlotte Tilbury blushes, and this is coming from the Disney Villains collection. Now, I wasn't really into any of the eyeshadow palettes. There were multiple eyeshadow palettes that released as well. There was the Evil Queen one, there was an Ursula one, and then there was a Scar one as well. The Scar color story I thought was the best, but again, these are really what I was feeling from this collection. Now, Evil Queen, these are the maxi blushes, by the way. I think these were $5.99. Um, it is a larger pan, and it is a little bit thick. That's the only downside. I love the packaging, though. I love Disney. I've said it many times, um, but I love this packaging. Inside, you are getting a mirror, and then this is what I'm talking about as far as the blushes go. So here is Evil Queen. Here is Ursula. I definitely feel more of like the Ursula vibe as far as like the neutral type of blush goes. I love blushes like this, um, but I do like this peachy one as well. Now, let me grab one of my Charlotte ones just so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here is a Charlotte one. Of course, I love this packaging. It's so slim and beautiful. But, all right, so this is one of my favorite Charlotte ones that I own. And as you can tell, I mean, very, very similar looking, are they not? Um, let me know if you guys would like to see a comparison video, but I see what Essence was doing there. All right, next up, I got a scent from Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande's fragrances, I think, are so nice, but this is the cloud one, and it just smells so good. My daughter actually has this perfume, and every time she's wearing it, I'm like, what do you have on? And it's always this, so... I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely more of like a sweet type of a fragrance, but I would just say go inside, give it a try. It's worth it. This is really, really nice. And I love that it was actually pretty affordable. I think this was only like $12, maybe $18, but huge bottle. This will last me forever. And really, I'll just kind of use this to spray in my hair. All right, next up from Urban Decay, I did buy the palette that came with this holiday collection um, on Urban Decay's website, but when I saw these liners in person, I was just like, hold on, <laughs> I've got to have this. It was only $23 and it came with two liners. This one is stunning. It is beautiful. It would look really good with this look that I have on today as well. Um, but then you also get this like shimmery black. And for 23 bucks, I mean, one of these normally would retail for about that price. So to get two full size liners and the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on pencils are really amazing in general. So yeah. I just, when I saw it, I had to grab it. All right, and then last up, everything is from Wet n Wild, which as you know, is super affordable. You can use coupons on Wet n Wild or any drugstore or non-prestige brand in general at Ulta. So I did use a coupon whenever I got these and I just thought this collection was so cute. All right, so there's a lot to go through. Let's go ahead and start with the palette. So this is the palette here. Look at this, this eyeshadow. It is like a Christmas tree. Um, there are shade names on the back of this palette, which I love. And yeah, I just thought it was super cute. And I love a lot of these finishes. There are tons of shimmery shades in here. And I really just wanted to see how those were going to perform. So I will be doing a collection video with this so just stay tuned next up there is a face quad and so you're getting some highlighters and then blushes as well um, the blushes appear to be matte and then of course you've got your highlighters here i love this one it looks super frosty and like for 
winter, obviously, I think it would be absolutely beautiful. I think this would be really pretty on deeper skin tones. For me, this would be more of like a body highlighter, like putting this on my shoulders or something like that. Um, but yeah, I love, love muted mauve blushes. And then you've got this bright pink, which has been super popular. Um, it really, blushes like that really just make you look nice and awake and healthy. They can appear scary, but once you get them on, they really just look so, so pretty. All right. Next up, I got a lip scrub. And as you can tell, this is the packaging here. Super cute. And the flavor slash scent on this one is root beer. And then to go along with that, I got the lip mask which is here. This one is called Merry Marshmallow. So obviously it's going to smell slash maybe taste like marshmallows. And while we are on the lips, I will go into this lipstick here. Now, when I first started getting back into makeup, like right after my daughter was born, um, I could only really afford Wet n Wild and they actually make some gorgeous lip products some really really good ones like ones that I still go to now this one was more of like the nude in this collection there was also a red as well this one is called Charlie Brown and as you can tell it's kind of just like a warm brown type of a shade next up is a setting spray this is called shake it like a snow globe and it is a illuminating face mist so here it is here you would obviously shake this up and then you can see like the shimmer in here it kind of reminds me of like the iconic london one that came out uh probably like a year or two ago but here it is and i don't know if it has a scent or anything we'll have to see but yeah and then next up and lastly are two like tool type of things so i saw this little sponge set and i thought it was so cute and as you can tell it has got snoopy and i don't remember what the little bird's name is honestly but two little sponges and then to house them you've got snoopy's little dog house which i don't know i just thought it was super cute and yeah, that is what I picked up for my birthday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see videos, leave me comments and let me know and I'll try to push those up. But I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are watching this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.